Good morning, cozy family. Last episode was part one of Carolyn's kitchen makeover. We removed all the old backsplash, we removed the entire cupboard unit and microwave over the stove, and we went on an adventurous shopping trip and found many of the elements we needed sticking to the budget. I finally decided to redesign and reimagine this kitchen, and so I called up an SOS to Cozy Living on Purpose. Help! I reorganized and cleaned out all the cupboards, removed the cupboard doors, cleaned and sanded them. And now we are ready to move forward with transforming this kitchen from dark and drab into a light, elegant space for this family. Okay, it's time to paint, kids. I'm excited about this part. I love this kind of thing. Okay, we're ready to go. Now, let's get suited up. Go. I decided to change to the roller now that we have a bit of a base coat on one side because the sprayer was really giving it a bit of a texture, sort of like um, orange peel. And I don't want that for the cupboards. So I've changed to the roller. I'm sitting here with trees under the trees. It's beautiful. It's a, there's a nice cool breeze. So you know what? Life is good. I love it. It's a bit of a tedious process, but painting is kind of cathartic. It. Uh, It's just, it's therapeutic really. As long as you set yourself up, just relax and get it done. You get a little system going. It works out fine. Now the cupboards in the box cupboards and the drawers I'm going to be doing inside on the spot. Then if I need any touch-ups or finishing coats, I'm going to do them on the spot as well so that they have a chance. They won't be handled after and they have a chance to really cure. You don't want to put a protector over this paint until it has a chance to cure. And for paint, this kind of paint to fully cure, I'm gonna say two weeks. So while these are hanging in the kitchen, you'll have to go easy. You have to be careful. Not to knock them too much or rub them too much. I mean, they're, they'll be dry. They just won't be fully cured. And what I might do, is go inside and start the boxes once um, and allow the second coat of the one side here to really dry well because when I flip them over they'll be resting on something so I don't want to mark them up and there's another it doesn't take that long okay let's see this color That's a gorgeous color. It really is. It's in the green tones, but it's more of a gray green. Yeah, you can see a tinge, tinge of green, but it really is nice. Yeah, I'm loving it. It's better than the blue. Ha, don't judge me. <laughs> so you've done quite a bit of that wall already. You yeah. have a little piece left. What a difference from the blue gray that we have. Oh on my the wall. goodness, yeah. 
very subtle, but really, really nice. Really nice. What was this paint called? I don't know, but I think we spent $10 more or so on the one coat paint, and I would say it's definitely worth it. I think it's worth it. Yeah. Viking Trail. It's called Viking Trail. Really, really good. Who names these paints? And it really, really covers up the other, the color. Yeah, I can't wait to see what this side's gonna look like. Oh, look, see, see the tinge of green in here. Yes. I think it's the light over lighting. there. Yeah. It's just really messed up. When everything is put together, when the back splash is on, this is gonna look really striking. And I'm already looking at the cupboard color next to that color, and I'm loving it already. Yeah, really nice. It's kind of got an earthy green tinge in it, a gray earthy green. Mm -hmm. And painting is such a such an inexpensive way of, you know, updating and freshening everything up. Yes. Look, look how good that looks now. That looks wonderful. Really nice. Wonderful. You're actually a very quick painter, may I say. Really? Yes. Well, see, I've learned from the best. There you go. So these squares here, they're just a decorative piece, but I'm pretty sure they're hiding something at the bottom there. There's probably pipes or something, so we didn't want to remove them. How lovely. Yeah, let me get this other. It's day four of Carolyn's kitchen makeover. And all day yesterday, I painted cupboards. I got at least two coats on everything. I started here in the kitchen on the boxes. I put the third coat on those. And now I'm just finishing the third coat on the rest of the boxes. This is a tricky area because there is stone right here. So I can only reach so far in. Whoever did this, it's not a great design. Okay. Today's gonna be fun because we're gonna really start working on some fun projects here. The painting is always really tedious, but necessary. It's made such a change. There's not a stitch of orange left in this kitchen, so that's awesome. Now, after all of the third coat is done, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the cupboards up. And I wanna do that because I want my finishing coat to be, I wanna do my finishing coat when the cupboards are up so that we don't knock them around and things like that. And when they're up, I can see any imperfections, so I'll be able to sand those and redo that area. Because no matter what, when you're painting, you're always gonna have areas where the paint's a little bit thicker, it's bubbled up, it looks like orange peel, whatever. You can always sand that off. Well, not completely down, but just sand it off, sand it down flat, and then just put another coat. It's a new day in Carolyn's kitchen for her makeover, and look who's here, Hi my guys. sister Michelle. Hi guys, I'm here to help, rolling up my sleeves. Excellent, excellent, we need help. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the final and finishing coat on these cupboard doors. Mm -hmm. Now I always do that after I put the cupboard doors back on because they might get a little messed up as you're putting them in. So that's what I always do. I always put them in first and then I do the finishing coat. So that's what we're gonna do. But the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna shine a light on them. And this light is gonna show us where all the imperfections are. And sometimes you have to sand it off a little mm -hmm. bit and then yeah. redo it. Right, right, right. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Okay, so let's get going. Go. Yep. So now what we're gonna do is we can see the areas when the light is shining on it. And I'm just gonna give it a little scratch. See how you can see it? Yeah. Well, the coat, the finishing coat would be really nice. Yeah. Where? Is that something? Anything? Oh, the here, but here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, 
We've done all the little protruding little spots. We sanded those off. Now we're going to do the finishing coat. So you want to do the finishing coat so that there's no lines or... This is good. What we want to do though is we want to get in those little corners. Because sometimes the corners didn't take it just right, like right here. But you got to watch because that's where all the drips happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Little spot. There we go. The sandpaper, just have it a fine sandpaper just to get rid of the little knobs or whatever that... Okay. Is there, this side. Is there sandpaper for the face? <laughs> <laughs> and we have a little... Sandpaper for the face. Well, yeah, it's called exfoliating. Exfoliation. <laughs> Give me that. Uh, that was like the old disco. Uh, that was like the old disco bump. Remember? Ready? Do the bump. Chicken. Do the, the, the disco. Do, 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 do. Oh my God! Those dances. Like whoever came up with that. <laughs> do the bump. Do the disco. No, what was it? Do the bump. Do the bump. Do, do the, the bump. bump. Do the bump. Do the, do bump. the bump. Do the bump. Like, who came up with that dance? I don't. I don't know. And why Probably is that? Maybe John Triple. Why was that a thing? <laughs> why was that a thing? Do the hustle. That's, that's it. Do the hustle. Oh, that's do the hustle. But do what about the bump? People know. That's the bump, but that's to the hustle. Do the hustle. <laughs> what was the dance with that? What was the hustle? Ready? Do the hustle. I don't think that's the hustle. That was Kung Fu Fighting. Remember Car Okay. Oh my gosh. When we were younger, we would do shows for our parents, right? Yeah. So it was like, we'd take a song, re re rehearse a dance, and then tell our parents and our aunts and uncles to sit down, and then we would perform. Yeah, and that one remember was we tied strachi around our like rags, rags around our hands and the, everybody was a kung fu fighter. And we even choreographed it. Yeah, yeah, we did the spins. If I did the spins now, I'd be like, whoa, on the floor. <laughs> it would be a floor. We used to do the splits. We used to do the splits. We used to do the split. Yeah, remember I, those days of the split? The splits. Yeah. Um, I can't. That can't. I can't, can't, can't happen now. This. <laughs> ever again, ever, 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 never again will I try to do the splits. I uh, listen. I'm sure some people our age could do that. Oh, I, uh, we, we could do that. We need some. Safe. No, we need shade conditioning. Yeah, we could do it. We could. We, we could. <laughs> let that be our goal this year to do the splits. <laughs> <laughs> If we get there, we'll do it on camera. We'll do it on camera. Imagine. Well, that will be okay. Stay tuned because that would be <laughs> that would go viral. That would be that that would be a viral thing. That would for be sure. a viral idiocy. Oh my gosh. It's hard to do this with stuff in the drawers. I it have is. To tell you. It is. And stuff. Yeah. No. You need to open some drawers. I'm gonna get it on the mapinas. No, mapina. Who knows what a mapina is? It is a tea towel. Tea towels. Do you know that when we got to a certain age, we didn't know what things were called in English? Yeah. Like tea towels? Yeah. We just thought their name was mapina. Mapina. You know? What was the other thing? Uh, Petsa. Petsa. <laughs> My kids. My kids. Would say petza. Yeah, cloths, cleaning cloths, Petsa. Look at how nice. We thought that's what the name was. That's right. Look at they they turn out lovely. Oh, that's the, lovely. It's You're lovely. doing great. But what I want to know is where's the dog? She's a little too quiet. I know. Usually she's barking. She's probably in the ripping film. up. Yeah, Twilight's probably ripping up a Kleenex as we speak. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and usually she's barking to come back in. She loves to lay in the sun, that dog. Yeah. Well, we felt like getting a little outdoorsy. Outdoorsy. We're outdoorsy In now. our painting clothes. Painting clothes, outdoorsy. Here we go. But no sun tanning though. No, well, I'm in the sun. <laughs> so, it's all. Notice I'm in the shade. Yeah, no, I love it. I'm 
Mr. White oh, Christmas time, Mr. Sun. Do, 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 do. All right, enough of that musical. We are interlude. painting the chairs the because chairs. these chairs are very dark and very aggressive looking in the I kitchen. I know, it almost attacked me in the, in the kitchen. I was like, <laughs> So what we want to do is just soften these chairs. So we're going to put a very neutral color on them. And then the base of the table is still going to be dark with the glass top. Yeah. So I think it's going to look really good. <clears throat> I think it's going to look really good. So we're just priming the chairs now and then we'll put the paint color on top. Yes. Yes. Let's go. So this is the yucky part of any job. I mean, no. painting could be cathartic, but it's also very tedious. So, yeah. I find it easier to do the bottom of the chairs first. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? Yeah. When we were kids, Yeah. and mom used to, wanted to clean the windows. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember that. Like, a lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was, she's like, she was like that. Yeah, but we used to like all line up outside. Yeah. Everybody had a job. Yeah. Remember? I remember. Even the one we were doing the tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, nice. Whenever we would do the tomato sauce, it was a whole production. It was. Yeah. It was that somebody was washing the tomatoes. Some, yeah. And we have six. There's six of us. Six children That's in our, right. in our uh, family. Yep. And uh, every kid had a job. You were the younger one, though. I know. You didn't get all the big jobs. I no, no, I did not. I got the the really crappy ones, no. like throwing the garbage away. Yeah, because that was easy. <laughs> I was a garbage collector. Who? What? Yeah, it wasn't so bad. This was an exhausting but great week. We've finished all the tedious work and now the real fun begins. Stay tuned for next episode as we focus on putting this kitchen together with all its design and decor elements. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time.